Okay, so we get asked a lot, like how much food should I be eating? How many calories should I be eating throughout the day? Uh, do calories actually matter? Does it matter what kind of calories I take in? All these different questions. So I'm gonna do my best here to try to answer as much of this as I can and give you some simple steps and a free tool that you can use that will really help you out. So first thing is, is, is you do need to know how many calories you need to consume on a daily basis because at the end of the day, fat loss, weight loss, whatever it is that you wanna call it, it's a math game, okay? Now, uh, good quality nutrition definitely matters, meaning you know if you put higher quality nutrition in your body, vitamins, minerals, you know the healthy fish oils, all those different things, your body's gonna run more optimally and, and more efficient. It's just like a car. If you put high octane fuel in that car, uh, like a race car, it's gonna run and it's gonna perform better than somebody that puts low octane fuel in the same, same vehicle, they're just not gonna get the same type of performance. So I wanna set this up here first of all. <clears throat> so we always take 12 week intervals, okay? So a year is too long. Now you can look out over a year, but you wanna break th that down into 90 day intervals. And, it, and if you look at it, there's three, or excuse me, four 90, 90 day intervals in a year. Uh, really four 13 week cycles, but let's just take 12 because it's a little easier um, with the math and so forth. Uh, and here's the thing, you know, the way this works, you're gonna sprint for a period of time and then you're gonna kind of relax for a period of time. Now we all think in our minds, especially this time of year because we're super excited, we're gonna, you know, put the pedal to the metal, this is the year, everything's gonna be different and you think you're gonna just linearly improve and week after week after week, get better and better and better. And, and it's just not how it always, always works. Typically, you're gonna run hard for about five or six weeks, then willpower kind of starts to wane, but we want to continue the good habits that we built during that five or six week time period and, and maintain during the rest of the five or six weeks. And then at the end of that, that first 12 week cycle, we come back and we hit it hard again. And, you know, if, if you're doing the, the cleanse, the beginning of the year, that's why we do a cleanse in January. We do another one in April, another one in July, and another one in October, because it kind of, you know, helps with that, that sprinting method and that style. And over the course of time, you're not only gonna reach your goal, but you're also gonna be able to maintain it instead of having like this yo-yo and, and the cycle up and down of, of gaining and, and losing fat throughout time. So. I just took a hypothetical person. Let's say we've got a person weighing 175 pounds. Over the course of 12 weeks, the goal is gonna to be to drop about a pound to a pound and a half of fat, not, not scale weight, but fat per week, okay? And so if you look at this, 12 pounds of fat over the course of 12 weeks, is obviously a pound a week, uh, or a pound and a half of fat a week is 18 pounds. So, the goal is to drop 12 to 18 pounds of body fat per week. So how do, you, how do you figure out if you're dropping fat or muscle or just water weight? You know, the best way obviously is to get a body fat done. Now, a uh, secondary way, and it's not as scientific, I guess, but you know, you, you obviously look at how your clothes sizes are fitting. So if the inches are decreasing, but you're getting stronger, um, you're still able to eat a, a good amount of food, um, you are, uh, in the gym, you, your, your performance is going well, uh, just different things like that, that's what you wanna look at. So again, the, the clothes sizes are moving in the right direction, uh, the strength is going up, uh, or at least maintaining, if you're getting weaker, like we've had people do these crazy diets where they cut their calories down to nothing, they come in, they can't even do a body squat, a body weight squat, not one time, uh, and, and that's not good because they've dropped a truckload of lean muscle tissue now the scale has changed, but the, it's, it's all muscle, you know, or, or a lot of muscle. And then when they come off that starvation diet, guess what happens? It doesn't come back on as lean muscle, it comes back on as more stored body fat. And, and so they're really in a worse situation at the end than when they started. So get back to this calorie thing. So how many calories do you need to consume on a daily basis? Here's the easiest way to figure it out. Uh, the free app, MyFitnessPal, which you know, 75% of people that I talk to already have it loaded on their phone. They just don't use it. Now, I'm not saying you've got to use it seven out of seven days. What I am telling you is you have to have certainty. What do I mean by that? If I ask you, how's your nutrition going? 99% of the time people say, you know what, it's going pretty good. But 
they are not 100% certain if they're eating on a daily basis the amount of calories that will take them to their goal. So if you don't know how many calories, how many, uh, you know, and how much food you should take in to drop that 12 to 18 pounds of fat over the course of 12 weeks, you're just shooting in the dark. You're, you're kind of thinking, well, you know, I eat some fruits and vegetables, I eat pretty healthy, you know, hopefully I'll reach that. that that's not, that's not a, a, a system, that's not a, a method that's gonna work. So you're gonna take, and in, in MFP stands for My Fitness Pal. First thing you're gonna do, set your account up, <clears throat> go into the goals, put in where you're currently at as far as your weight goes, and then what you wanna put is, I would start out with a goal of dropping one and a half pounds per week, okay? And I've done this a lot using MyFitnessPal. That typically is gonna give you a good calorie kick out um, based on, on the stuff that I've seen over time. So let, let's just hypothetically say this 175 pound person puts that in as their goal that want, they wanna drop a pound and a half per week. Let's say that MyFitnessPal gives them a uh, reading of 100 and, or excuse me, 1,500 calories per day. Okay, so, so that's the number that we wanna shoot for. Now we've gotta go into MyFitnessPal and we've gotta make a couple other changes. You've gotta also go into the settings and you've gotta change what's called the macronutrients. Macronutrients are just protein, carbohydrates, and fat. That, that's what macronutrients are. So we wanna change it to this. We wanna just start out with 40% carbohydrates, 30% protein, and 30% fat, okay? So when you add that up, 40 plus 30 is, is 70 plus 30 is 100%. So that's gonna be our breakdown. So when we look at this, 40% of these calories are gonna come from carbohydrates, 30% from protein, 30% from fat. And you sit there and go, man, that's getting confusing. MyFitnessPal figures everything out for you, okay? So now, once you've got those settings changed, it'll tell you how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbohydrates, and how many grams of fat that you need per day. And again, I'm just gonna pick random numbers here. When you go in and look at a, a, at a typical day in MyFitnessPal, when you're entering your food login, at the very bottom, it's gonna have how many uh, calories you, you're supposed to consume, it's gonna have how many grams of carbohydrates, how many grams of protein, and how many grams of, of fat. Now, I should have figured this out ahead of time, but let's just say that this number is 115 grams of protein, uh, let's say this is 175, and let's say this is 60. Again, I'm just picking random numbers. I should have done the math ahead of time. But again, MyFitnessPal does all of this math for you, okay? So don't sit here and go, man, I, I'm confused. None of this makes any sense. No, you just put in you know, what your initial weight is, how many, how many pounds you want to lose per week. You go in and change these macronutrient settings, and you're ready to roll. Then what you do is you take and you put in a typical day. So like right now, you just put in, hey, what did you eat yesterday? And just put it all in there, okay? And so let's say yesterday you, you ate pretty good um, and you're at 1,200 calories, uh, 175 of that is from carbohydrates. And again, my fitness pal is gonna figure that out. 60 of it's from protein and 50 of it, it is from fat, okay? So you're thinking, man, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm underneath these numbers, so I'm gonna help the process out, and I'm gonna lose weight even quicker. Wrong. You are, you are 1,500 calories is the threshold, is where you need to be, you know, plus or minus maybe 50 uh, or 75, but over the course, it's gonna work its way out. So one day you might be at 1575, the next day you might be at 1450, next day 1600, next day 1500. Over the course of time, it's gonna work its way out because you're gonna eat about the same things roughly each and every day. What happens here is there's too big of a deficit. So we're 300 calories too low. And so over time, your body's gonna start dropping uh, lean muscle tissue and you're not gonna like the end result is, is what I'll tell you, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna end up a, a smaller version with the same body fat percentage as you've got now. We're trying to drop body fat, not lean muscle tissue. 
And here's the huge red flag right here. So this, 60 grams, this is what I would have you work on. I'd, I'd, I'd give you, you know, ways, I'd say, hey, a meal replacement shake. It's got 24 grams of protein, 60 plus 24, we're up to 84 right there alone. Maybe do a, a packet of tuna in, in mid-afternoon, or if you don't like that, maybe a, a muscle gain shake. We're gonna try to get this up to 115 grams as quick as possible, and once we fix this, uh, take this up to this, it'll, it'll fix this number as well, okay? Um, same thing, let's say that you're at 1,800 calories per day. Again, you know, these numbers, you're just figuring out where you're at now and you wanna adjust accordingly. It's literally as simple as that. And, you know, it, it, you'll start figuring out, okay, the, the protein foods are my lean meats, my dairy products, uh, eggs, you know, different things like that. Uh, the protein powder, like I talked about, muscle gain or, or a meal replacement shake. That's how you really control this protein number and you can increase or decrease it throughout the day. Here's what I see. If, if, if you're a female watching this, typically every time you build a meal, focus on your protein first and then build your healthy fat in there and then follow it up with carbohydrates because what's the easiest foods to get in? The carbohydrates are, right? Um, the starches, you know, the things like the bread, potato, uh, pasta, rice, all those are the easy foods to eat and females, a lot of times, they don't focus on that protein. So focus on that first, and then, and then that's how you wanna build your meals and, and so forth. But you'll start to figure out, like, all you gotta do then is work on hitting these numbers. And it doesn't have to be exact, like I talked earlier, but if you're not certain, like if, if this person's taking in 60 grams of protein per day, that is not enough protein to support the lean muscle tissue that's on their body. So what will happen over time? they're not gonna drop 12 to 18 pounds of fat. Now they might drop 12 to 18 pounds on the scale, but a lot of it's gonna be muscle tissue. And again, like I said, the inches are not gonna change like you want them to. It's gonna slow your metabolism down. So your body's not able to process as much food as it normally would. And then when you go to eating more food, you know, down the road, if that weight comes back on, guess what it comes back on? Again, stored body fat and, and it's not a good thing. So. This is a very simple way to figure out how many calories you should consume and to make sure that you're consuming that as you should. Now, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like, man, I don't know if this thing's working or not, uh, I haven't seen any change, just go into MyFitPal and log for a couple days. Accountability is a huge thing, you guys. And so if you go in there, or uh, better yet, you know, you might have myself or your coach, whoever's helping you out, take a look at, you can, you can print out a page of, of MyFitnessPal and, and have your coach take a look at it, or you can friend request them on there and have them take a look at it that way. Uh, post it here on, on this Facebook page. I'm happy to look at it. it takes me about you know, 60 seconds to look at your day and, and tell you what's going on. Because again, you know, doing this for as many years as, as we have, you just get a feel for all this stuff. And, and you know, it, it, it'll greatly help you out. So hopefully this doesn't overwhelm you. Post any questions or, or comments or feedback that you've got. Um, but yeah, again, MyFitnessPal is a free tool. Uh, you've got to do something. Every diet out there has you great, drastically restricting calories, I promise you, whether they're having you count points or whatever it is, but it's all about calorie control and not starving you. Most of those diets do have you starving too much and that's why they don't work long term. So hopefully this helped. Let me know if you got any questions. All right, have a great day.